used to be in the past that somebody who was angry was considered a problem patient, right? But now there's an understanding that that's how they're trying to maintain some control that they feel they have completely lost, that there's something of value in it. And for the people themselves who are going through it, for them to understand that whatever they're feeling in that time is an initial stage. It's not going to feel that way all the time. And I try very hard when I talk to these people to help them understand that just allow a little bit of belief, a little bit of faith, that whatever you're going through now is part of how you are healing and recovering and finding your way to whatever is ahead of you that you just can't picture yet. Okay? So it's really important to affirm the individual coping styles that people bring to bear. In fact, that's what they need more than anything. They need acknowledgment for their actual experience. The question I'm always asked, how can I help this person? How can I help them be more positive? What can I do you know, to help them make their way through it? The most important thing is to meet them where they are. If somebody doesn't feel acknowledged for what they're feeling, for what they're thinking, for what they're experiencing, they are not going to let you in to partner with them because they feel like you're expecting them to be something they're not. It doesn't mean you have to condone, sure, go ahead, give up on life, believe that everything's, that's different. Acknowledging it says, okay, I get what you're thinking and feeling. It is completely understandable that you are where you are. But most people find that this moves, that you don't have to stay stuck there. And that's what my role as a professional is for you, is to be your partner to let's see where it can go from here. 